In a galaxy far, far away, there lives Ubisoft's first open world Star Wars game. Star Wars Outlaws marks a new crime era for the franchise, and this is everything you need to know about the game. Star Wars Outlaws takes place between the events of the original trilogy films, Vampire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The Empire has most of the control, and the Rebels are building in strength. Meanwhile, the Underworld and its crime syndicates are thriving. According to narrative director Navid Kavari, Outlaw shines a light on the Star Wars Underworld, which has been fittingly stuck in the shadows since the rise of the Empire. Kavari said, quote, What happens when you have a civil war consuming the galaxy? Well, criminal organizations and syndicates, they find space to rise up. This era sees them thriving and seeking all kinds of opportunities. It's them at their strongest to a certain extent. To enter into the underworld within that window felt like a perfect starting point for the player. I don't know you. Instead of following the adventures of a Jedi, Star Wars Outlaws is putting you in the boots of a scoundrel by the name of Kay Vess, who finds herself on the galaxy's most wanted list. Vess is accompanied by her axolotl-like companion, Nyx, and together you'll be exploring distant planets in an effort to start a new life. At the same time, Vess is attempting to pull off the biggest heist that the Outer Rim has ever seen, but that plan will require her to think several steps ahead of the criminal syndicates and the Empire. The syndicates you can expect to see in the game are Crimson Dawn, the Hutt Cartel, the Pikes, the Ashiga Clan, and Sarek Bess. Those last two were made especially for Outlaws and are new to the Star Wars universe. The events of the game will unfold across multiple planets that follow Lucasfilm's 80-20 rule for location design. 80% familiar, 20% alien or fantastical. At the time of this video's writing, there has been no official number of planets revealed, but a version of the popular Tatooine will be making an appearance. Star Wars Outlaws falls under the category of open-world third-person action-adventure. When on the ground, you can expect to engage with enemies via gunplay and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ground combat also includes the incorporation of your little alien buddy Nyx, who can distract or attack enemies, squeeze into spaces that Vess can't, and push and pull a switch. While in space, you'll be taking part in dogfights with enemy ships large and small. However, you shouldn't expect to be fighting all of the time as Star Wars Outlaws will also have you sneaking around. In our hands-on preview, Phil Hornshaw wrote that Outlaws is a quote, stealth game where combat is best avoided and shooting your way out of a situation is a scrambling, desperate affair that doesn't often end well. Later in the preview, Phil said, quote, Combat in Outlaws is interesting in that it feels significantly different from that of most Star Wars games. K is a crack shot. And although you can upgrade her blaster with parts to hot swap between different gunfire types that are good for specific functions, like shooting organic enemies or zapping droids or knocking people out with a stun, her gun isn't particularly powerful. Luckily, you can also grab the weapons off downed enemies, allowing you a short-lived upgrade to your assault rifle or sniper rifle for as long as the gun has ammo. You also have an ability called Adrenaline, which charges while you're in combat. Using it lets you slow down time to tag several enemies and then eliminate them in a single rapid-fire action, like in Splinter Cell Blacklist. But be careful who you shoot, because Outlaws has a wanted system and a reputation system. The wanted system is tied to Kay's relationship with the Empire, while the reputation system is tied to her relationship with the syndicates. A positive rep with a syndicate can get you discounts, better jobs, and access to different areas. And speaking of different areas, Star Wars Outlaws is the first single player open world game in the Star Wars franchise. You'll explore the ins and outs of this world in Kay's ship, the Trailblazer, and on foot via Kay's speeder. This exploration ties into Outlaws' side content. In our preview, Phil said, quote, while someone will often offer you a job, quests don't always fall in your lap. You might overhear a conversation between two thieves as they discuss where they left their haul of goods, giving you an opportunity to go jack it before they show up. 
or find an email from a company explaining to someone that crashing their speeders puts it out of warranty, offering you a chance to track down the wreck and see what you can salvage. Hot on the heels of a different sci-fi franchise, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, studio Massive Entertainment is leading development on Star Wars Outlaws. The game was first announced in early 2021, following an end to EA's exclusivity of the Star Wars game license. It wouldn't be until 2023's Xbox Game Showcase that the game was actually revealed, and then it went gold on July 3rd, aka the studio finished development on the base game. Star Wars Outlaws will be released for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S on August 30th, 2024. There are three versions of the game for you to choose from, the Standard Edition, the Gold Edition, and the Ultimate Edition. The Standard Edition comes with the base game and will run you 70 bucks. The Gold Edition costs $110 and comes with the base game, a season pass, and three day early access when you pre-order. The Ultimate Edition costs 130 bucks and comes with everything the Gold Edition has, as well as the Sabacc Shark Bundle, the Rogue Infiltrator Bundle, and a digital art book. A subscription to Ubisoft Plus will get you access to the Ultimate Edition on PC at no additional charge. And that's all you need to know about Star Wars Outlaws. For more information, tips, and our review, make sure you're subscribed to GameSpot.